What's going on YouTube? How are you guys doing? I missed you guys. I'm just going to show a quick build video today. Uh, quick and simple, short and sweet, just like I usually do. Um, if you guys watch the channel a lot, um, about a year ago, or even probably longer than that, I posted like a new rig video. And um, I was going to do a build video on that rig, but I I never got it like completed. I was always making changes. I was changing link positions, I was changing weight, changing wheelbase, always making changes. So I got, never got around to doing a build video on that. But it was always under um, it was under this body, if you guys remember this body. And then I put this body on that truck, because I was always changing body mount, shock positions. Like I said, it was a good chassis, but I just never uh, dialed it in to where I wanted. Uh, this was the first body I started out with a long time ago. Um, that chassis was the GMRC ZFG chassis. There it is, right here. It's a G10 chassis. Um, it did really good. I liked it because it had a small skid print. And um, after talking to the guy, uh, he just felt like basically you didn't need a whole lot of options because for a 12.3 to 12.5 wheelbase, um, that was already like a, a best setup basically for the link positions and the shock positions. So he wanted to do it a very simple chassis. Um, he kept it inexpensive. It was like 50 bucks for the rails. And then um, I built the truck around this. I used uh, SSD axles. They were they were good. I liked them. They, uh, they're smooth. Never had any problems with them at all. Tons of steering throw. And they're great. Just solid straight, straight axle. That's what I had on that truck. But uh, like I said, I was always changing things. Never got it to where I wanted. I would make one line and then not be able to do the next line the next weekend and then tune it for that line and not be able to do the other line. So it was fun. It's a super lightweight build with that chassis. And uh, I'm going to build it back up again. But for now, I switched over to this AT Element Predator Evo chassis. Uh, it's a big difference from what you guys could obviously tell. Um, it's uh, a lot different. Uh, like I was saying, these chassis are very different and that's one of the reasons why I chose uh, this Predator Evo chassis. Um, the design on it is something I've been looking for for a while. It's kind of uh, similar to the Brazen High Low, which I was looking at when that came out, but it had a few things uh, like this cross section that I really liked that the Brazen Hilo didn't have and there's actually a few more chassis like this that have this like major drop down angle right here uh, coming on the market and I, I really like them I'm really interested in them and so I, I just picked one up uh, this one's from Spain the guys are from uh, EliteHobby.eu I believe but I uh, guess the Predator Evo chassis um, super long links in the back and very very short links in the front that's another thing I was kind of looking for it helps with the break over uh, tremendously. When it hits a rock and it has the skids not in the middle, it just it climbs right up it. Um, for this build, I put together some beef tube AR44. They're custom axles that you could put together. Uh, they're super cheap, like 30 bucks for the tube, and then the housing is 10, 10 bucks. So you just uh, drill it out, slide the beef tube in there. Um, the middle is AR44 and the outside is Wraith so it allows you to get some crazy steering throw and then some Wraith uh, knuckles and C-hubs. Uh, the electronics for this truck are from the old truck from that uh, Green Mountain RC chassis. It's the Raw 500 servo and the Holmes revolver with the silent ESC and a uh, Salinas Designs transmission. This one's pretty cool because right here a zero overdrive right here and this one is like 26 percent overdrive just by switching the uh, drive shaft and that's been out for like a couple years so they're kind of ahead of the game on that one um, the rear is the same thing as the front the AR44 with the beef tube and it has the Wraith lockout uh, with the Vanquish piece pretty nice I ordered a, a cheaper one on eBay and it was just it was huge it was bulky and um, you definitely get what you pay for this little vanquish piece. Um, still running in the work shocks. They're smooth. I like them. Same thing as draft tag, basically. Um, for the rims, these are Reefs rims. I'm not sure the name, um, but they look really nice. 
and then uh, the foams. Oh, the foams are really cool. On this truck, the first time I switched to 3D printed foams. This is a Three Brothers foam, and I like it. It's very, very soft and very, very light, and that's one of the reasons I like it. And you can tune it. Uh, they include tuning rods when you buy it. It's like 30 bucks for the pair, and I'm really enjoying them. I'm gonna run those on the rear because they're a little bit softer than uh, the flubs. These are the flubs single stage. Um, these ones really nice. They're a bit heavier than the Three Brothers, so that's another reason why I run them up front. And they're much stiffer in this single stage down here. Uh, this right here is a lot stiffer than the Three Brothers. This is about the same out here, but um, when you get it in the tire, you can definitely feel it's a lot softer than the Three Brothers and much more firmer in the um, club. But I guess they're coming out with a couple different designs where you can tune how soft you want it. But I, I like them both so far. They're, um, they're awesome. Way better than uh, two-stage foams. I'll say that right now. But yeah, I'm excited to get this truck growing. This is the one you're going to see on the channel most of the time from now on. So I want to do a little build video. Um, this Green Mountain RC chassis was great. It was a lightweight build. It was like four pounds. This one I'm guessing is about five, five and a half. Um, these these uh, these 3D printed foams are much heavier than those uh, dual stage Proline and Crawl Innervation foams, uh, a lot heavier. So uh, which brings the weight out, but um, the side hill on the foams is just insane. It does stuff that I've never seen another truck do on the bench. I was just happy. But thanks for watching guys, missed you guys. Um, hopefully you get a lot more crawling videos coming out soon. And talk to you guys in the comments. Thanks a lot. Uh, one more thing guys, I just wanted to mention about this chassis. I actually wanted to uh, have a discussion if anybody's up for it. Um, one of the reasons why I like this chassis is because of all the options you have for everything. Shock mount, every chassis has shock mounting options. That is cool, but uh, nothing new. But these link mount positions, there's a ton of them. And, uh, my base for link mounts, you know, the bottom links kind of go on the axle and on the skid. That's pretty standard. But for the top links, that's where you get to all the adjustments. You can adjust the uh, drive shaft angle, um, anti-squat, uh, right height, all that kind of stuff with your upper links. And so my question is, do you want your rear upper links up high or down low on your axle? in the back and in the front rear upper links low on the chassis or high on the chassis from what I've learned from what I've read from what I've tested high on the axle low on the chassis in the rear low on the axle high on the chassis in the front that kind of gives you that over by over anti-squat from what I understand if you guys can explain it better, if you guys can confirm or argue it, let me know. Let's talk about it. That's what I'm kind of stuck on with these trucks right now. But uh, yeah, talk to you guys soon. This video don't give it justice, fool. No. Fuck no. <laughs> Test the break over on this chassis. You guys have been a fan of the channel for a while, you know, no the truck's been able to just come up and over this thing right here.
mais Lower this goes, the steeper it gets. So I'm going to try and aim for the bottom. Can't make my way back up. This thing is super stable. Most trucks just tip way, way long time ago. Okay. My battery went out. All right, back for the new battery. Sorry about that. Drop a death. <laughs>